Hi, and Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to 2017. I thought it was a great chance to look back on uh, Stock Story and just how we've done over the last uh, five years. Um, we played it pretty defensive because ever since 2009, the more the market goes up, particularly in the United States, I uh, have tended to feel like I want to have some cash on the sidelines if there's a significant correction. This has... Um, uh, we talked about it in the last video, and this is how I invest. Um, you'll see as we go over the results, uh, it, it hasn't hurt me badly, but it, I haven't necessarily kept up with the highest performing indexes. But um, I am planning as I go forward to utilize that cash if there is a significant drop. So I think I'll be in a good position if there is such a thing. If not, I'm staying close to them till the time there does, because we all know at some point in time, the markets will correct. Uh, so let's take a look at where we're at. And I'm going to just bring the cursor out here. And so over the last uh, bunch of years, um, or 2012 to 2015, uh, I basically was outperforming the TSX all the way through all four of those years. Uh, but I also um, was, I outperformed the S&P in 2015, but underperformed it in the other three years. In the past year, uh, I was with Stock Story, I was the lowest performer at 7.39%. The TSX, which has not done very well over the last little while, uh, actually had itself a very good uh, 2016 with a 17 and a half percent return. Uh, the S&P had 9.79 percent return. So I was a little bit lower, but as I've said before, I'm about 40, around 45 percent in cash with a little bit of that being fixed income. Uh, and I'm waiting. So it's a very defensive position, but it also will protect me in a downdraft, and I'm not too far off. And if we go to take a look at how those averages work, you'll see that I'm quite a bit ahead in the last uh, five years of the uh, uh, TSX, and I'm just uh, a couple of percentage points behind the S&P 500. So I'm not too far behind. So if there was a correction, then I should be able to jump ahead on my averages. At least that's the way uh, my plan goes. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the Toronto Stock Exchange is average 5.5%. However, uh, as we saw in the previous slide, uh, they went up 17.5%. And, and this is sort of how contrarian investing goes. When something's down, it tends to be, when something's going down or not doing as well, uh, its valuation tends to get better and there's a potential upside. And, and that's sort of what I'll be showing in the next uh, set of videos that I do in how we uh, value equities. Um, you can see the S&P is by far the leader here at uh, almost 14% return. Uh, that, um, they, they've been steady. They haven't, in the, in the, this period of time, they haven't had one down year. The TSX had, uh, I think it was 2015, they were down by around 11%, and that's really hurt them. Uh, stock story is also the portfolio I use for stock story has not been down in the last uh, five years and is coming in with a respectful just shy of 12% return so anyways uh, I will continue to put out videos and show what I'm doing and uh, I'm hoping when there's a correction that you'll see that I'll jump ahead of the other the two indexes so anyways hope you have a great day uh, please share this uh, like it uh, subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye now.